Let's do one example. We're going to do, um, let's give us one that's got a perfect square. So let's try 36. Okay, so the first thing we do with our, with our 36 is we factor it into prime factorization. 2 goes into 36, 18, 2 goes into it, 9, 3 goes into 9 three times. So the prime factorization of 36 is 2 squared times 3 squared. That's your prime factorization. So um, to find the total number, well, remember total number, add 1 to each exponent and multiply those together. 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, the total number of um, factors is 9. We don't even have to list them out. The sum, well, remember that is add up the, the ones. For the twos, it's only add up the, the factors. For the twos, it's easy, right? It's going to be 2 to the second plus 2 to the first plus 2 to the zero, but the way you roll the shortcut is 2 to the third minus 1, okay? And so that's going to turn out to be 7. And then over here, well, it's just going to be 3 squared plus 3 to the first plus 3 to the 0. So 2 cubed minus 1 is 7. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So the sum of the, fa the multiples of 2, sum of the multiples of 3, that gives you 91. So the sum of all the factors is 91. If we want to do the product... Well, the product is how many things multiply together to give you 36? Well, there are actually five things that multiply together, but one of them is 6 times 6. So you do the 4, 36 times itself 4 times, and then we don't want to multiply times 6 twice, so we just multiply it by 1. So in this case, it would be 36 to the 4th times 6. Well, 36 is the same as 6 squared, so 36 to the 4th can be written as 6 to the 8 times 6, which is 6 to the 9th. And you could leave it as that, or you could actually go in um, on your calculator and do 6 to the 9th, which gives us a very, very big number. Um, in this case, it is 10 million um, and 77,000 um, and 696. And that is the product of all of uh, the factors of 36. And then the even and the odd is pretty easy. Even... We, don't, we usually want to do the odd first. So let's go do the odd first. The odd, you just add 1 to the odd integer. Well, 2 plus 1 is 3, so there are 3 odd. And if there are 3 odd and 9 total, that means there are 6 even. And so that's how you go through and find out those 5 questions we did at the beginning. Um, if you want to do another, you can go through and pick up any problem. It's nice to start on small, but this works for as big a number as you can possibly imagine.